Okay, before start checklist. Before start checklist. Generator online checklist is complete. Power brake. Set. Wing and tire ice. Ah. Booster to switch. Stand by. Give the ground. No tail two. Requesting taxi from 812 to 813. No tail two. We're going to ground taxi by Quebec. Bravo. Check these. Roger. All lights on. And turn on. Clear to cross. Clear to cross. Clear that. Clear right. Okay, uh, I'm uh, Xavier Jubier, an Eclipse chaser, and today we did uh, a first uh, in mankind, an Eclipse flight intercepting uh, the Umbra racing at over 13,000 kilometers per hour. So we left uh, early uh, this morning flew about uh, 650 kilometers uh, to the southeast to intercept uh, the Umbra and then back. So it's uh, about a three hour flight. Uh, okay, that uh, flight started, I would say, three months ago. Uh, two other friends uh, decided that they wanted to uh, try to uh, fly uh, and intercept the Eclipse because they didn't want to go to Africa. I mean, the only uh, landmass that uh, the eclipse was going over was uh, equatorial Africa. Uh, but over there, the weather was not uh, that good. Uh, the best location was in Kenya, in fact. Uh, so they decided uh, to, in fact, uh, do it from a flight uh, at the beginning, in fact, of the path. Uh, because that eclipse is also very special. It's an hybrid eclipse, which means that its uh, general uh, nature changes from the beginning uh, to the end. So it first starts as um, an annular, a broken annular in fact, and then it switches, switches to a total uh, shortly after, about 500 kilometers uh, from the beginning. So they decided to uh, in intercept in fact the Umbra about uh, 650 kilometers southeast of Bermuda. So 12 people you know were on the flights. Uh, the aircraft, the Falcon uh, 900B, operated by uh, Long Tail Aviation uh, has 12 seats, so 12 people and 12 windows because of course the most important is to have 12 windows facing the eclipse because people you know they what they want to, to see is the eclipse it's not the other side or you know uh, other clouds whatever so they want 12 windows facing the eclipse yes we uh, we made it uh, I mean for us the problem was to be on time on a precise time at the second uh, on a precise at a precise location and we managed to uh, to make it well I mean the next eclipses of course uh, the next one that most people will try to go to is in uh, 2015 on March uh, 20th uh, that one is either uh, over the northern Atlantic Ocean or else the uh, Faroe Island Svalbard or the North Pole so it's a very difficult one and the other uh, possibility is also, you know, an eclipse flight, but much easier than uh, that one. <laughs>